unboxing. Uh, this is kind of fun to do because when we get these, it's nice to see what it, uh, what it looks like coming out of the box, how I came to the decision of actually choosing this particular product, and um, all that is involved with all of that. So this is the Milwaukee, and this is the 2311. Uh, again, my biggest, biggest, biggest complaint with Milwaukee is they have so much stuff. They almost pretty much have too much stuff. And it's very, very difficult to find exactly the product that I need because they have so many different variations of the same exact product. For example, this particular unit right here. I need an inspection camera and I like the Milwaukee Tool product and I like their 12 volt line of products and I know they're gonna stay in business for a long time and I know they have a great product. So I want a Milwaukee camera and I need to have the 9.5 millimeter or 3 8 inch uh, uh, camera line. Well, everything that I could find online was for the half inch or the 17 millimeter camera line. So I took me, it even says right here, for this camera 17 millimeter. It took me over an hour to be able to find what camera would incorporate with nine and a half millimeter um, part and and the half inch both, and would do exactly everything that they needed to do, and then look up the part number for the nine and a half millimeter camera extension to be able to order everything that I need. Um, so if anybody at Milwaukee is listening my goodness just make the products all interchangeable because you have seven different cameras and the 9.5 millimeter only interacts with two of them so i don't know how all that works um but it says right here uh, that this will interact with the larger one and the smaller one now the larger one's going to give you a whole lot better picture it's going to be a whole lot more rigid and it's going to have more options like an extension and and all that fun stuff um so rather than really complaining and getting that out of the way um, it would just be so much easier in Milwaukee if you would just make it easier to find your parts because they say that the 9.5 millimeter only interacts with the 23-11-21 and the 23-12-21. So that's my biggest gripe for that. Um, we'll go ahead and show that right there. That's the part number right down there. Um, so let's open this thing up. Nice, sturdy, heavy-duty case. I've already got... Um, all of the stuff that I need here. Now, this is the 9.5 millimeter or the 3.8 camera that I was talking about, the, the wire. And let's just show how big of a difference that is from their 17 millimeter half inch, just to give you a good idea. Um, this isn't gonna work for a lot of the lock projects and safe projects that I use this for. Uh, it's just too darn big. So this is why I had to have this, and this is why I was kind of being extremely picky about it. We can show these side to side like that too. Um, so here's what I ended up having to get. I ended up having to get this part number here, and that's gonna come with one three foot uh, cable here, and the camera, the half inch 17 millimeter one. I bought the three foot extension, and here's the part number for anybody that needs the three foot extension in case I wanted to be, to have a little longer room. So now I've got six feet of cable and that's 48-53-0141. That's gonna be a part number for the first three foot half inch or 17 millimeter extension, okay? The part I really needed was the 9.5 millimeter or 3 8 cable adapter here. Okay, so this is part number 4853-0130. That's part number 48-53-1030. Okay, so that's the one to get the small cord. It's not going to come, if you order this, it's not going to come with the small cord. It's not going to. And here's where all their stuff gets so messed up and they get too many damn part numbers because they offer, it's a completely different part number if you want a charger, if you want it without batteries, if you want it with one battery, if you want it with two batteries. There's three different part numbers, or four, well, no, three different part numbers for the same camera. So that gets extremely irritating and, and I'm, I'm very, very frustrated with Milwaukee with that. Uh, but this model, you will get the charger. You will get the USB adapter, so you can USB adapt that to mini USB, and you will get one battery. 
one battery. The 21 on the end of this part number means one battery. I am slowly starting to figure out how Milwaukee works. 20, if, it's, if the last number is 20, you get no batteries. If the last number is 21, you get one battery. If the last number is 22, you get two batteries. Um, so hopefully that will help you figure out what you need. And then, like I said, we get the charger here. I already have the 18 volt system. So uh, I've already got a 12 volt charger, but it's nice to have a separate one just for this. Um, so very nice, very well made, very heavy duty. Um, let me get the battery in, plug this thing in. It's gonna plug in like so. They also have a double A AA battery adapter for this, which is friggin' awesome. Uh, you're also, all your stuff is gonna be in here. Uh, it is gonna come with an SD card right out of the box. So you're gonna have a four gigabyte SD card right out of the gate. Um, so you'll be able to actually take pictures and you'll be able to video, and then there's your mini USB port right there. You can run this onto a computer and transfer your information into there and get a bigger screen too. So once we turn it on, we've got all the different functions. Um, light, we'll go ahead and show the light here. Brighty, bright, 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 that's bright. That's not so bright. Um, we can take a, if we come over here, we can zoom. And you can see the table here. And you can see how clear this thing actually picks stuff up. Pick, pick stuff up pretty well. Um, you know, it picks itself up too. Um, and the half inch one does a whole lot better at that. This one will change so we can rotate all the way around. And um, then we can take a picture, picture, and we can record. And as of right now, I'm recording. Uh, so all very, very cool stuff. Uh, you can play this back. Um, once I figured out what I wanted, awesome tool. This is gonna go on the field right now. Uh, I'm actually gonna go use this thing today. So I'm glad it came, I'm glad it showed up, and I'm glad I got everything I needed. Uh, set up like this, I think the camera was right above 300 something, and then I had to order the cord and the extra thing. I think it was right around 400, 450, somewhere right in there to get everything that you see here with all these different parts that we ordered. Um, just keep in mind how many batteries you need, how many if you need a charger, and what size camera you need. Because this big giant snake of a camera is very, very stiff, very, very rigid. It'd be good for plumbing, HVAC, stuff like that. Uh, not good for automotive and safe and locksmith work. So for more information, check out the website below. We'll do a review on this um, six months a year or whatever and uh, we'll let you know how it works. Um, if anybody's thinking about, ooh, I just wanna buy a cheapy camera from Harbor Freight, uh, I went through about five of these. Uh, luckily, I bought the warranty, so I didn't actually have to pay for it more than once. But if you get the cheapy uh, Syntec camera, it looks really cool, and it sounds really cool, and, uh, but um, you'll constantly be replacing it, and you will not have a camera when you need it, because Every single time I would put out of the box, it worked fine, charge it up, take it out on a job site, two months later, it's dead, wouldn't, wouldn't show up, wouldn't light up, wouldn't charge up, wouldn't do anything. So, complete waste of money, don't bother. Uh, go ahead and get yourself a good quality product. So, for more information, check out the website below. Hey guys, it's the end of the video. Um, you know, help me out and help me help you out. Uh, Right below the description box right here is a red subscribe button. Subscribe to me and then you're gonna get the latest and greatest information that I put out. Sometimes it applies to you, sometimes it doesn't. Um, you know, it, it's just gonna at least let you know that uh, we're putting out new and current information. And then right over here is a thumbs up button. Give me a thumbs up, help this video uh, rank higher in the searches for the search terms that you're using and let other people be able to see this. Um, you know, that's the best way you can help. Interact, leave a comment. I will get back with you if I can and try and help you answer your questions. But the more you interact and post this to Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and spread this through the social media, uh, the more that allows me to be able to help do more videos. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, subscribe, share, and like. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it.